Good morning. Good morning. Here we are in Los Angeles, California. LA, yeah. This is our hood. Yep, it yeah. is. So today we're going to do a throwdown. Mm, of pastrami sandwiches. Pastrami sandwiches. Uh, it's so going to be like the classic pastrami, almost like the one they have in New York. Yep. Right? And we found two awesome places here in LA and we're going to go try them out. Yes, yeah, so the first one we are at is called Langer's. Yep, it's been here forever. Yeah, there is right across the street. We are here in downtown Los Angeles. Yes, um, And the other one we're going to do later today is, is Cantor's, yeah, Cantor's on Fairfax, the original location. Right, so these are supposedly the two best pastrami sandwiches here on the West Coast. Yes. The so whole West Coast. Let's go try it out. Right? Yes. We, yes, so here go. we go. Let's go inside. A shot of the menu. Thank you. But what they're most famous for is their number 19. The seating here is like 50, 60, 64. Nice big kitchen. Yeah, nothing Brown really changed. Floor. Very clean looking. I know. Well, when was the last time you saw a uh, seating like this? Yeah. <laughs> And it's the place is big. It's a lot of sitting in here. I know it gets packed in here, and it's just places humongous awards all over the wall since it's very old school. Yeah, right there. So we did get the world famous number 19, which is you can tell it's hand cut pastrami with coleslaw, Russian dressing, and rye bread. So you can just kind of see. That, look, look at that, look at that pastrami. It's so tender and it's hot. Wow, Swiss cheese on there. That's gonna be a really good bite. The bread is like really soft and the outside crust is crunchy, almost like, it's like San Francisco sourdough. But here we go. All those juices yeah. dripping right there. This, this pastrami is so tender. Oh, it's hot, juicy. I'm liking this sandwich. I really am. What do you think? Yeah, the, the balance between the coleslaw, the pastrami, the Russian dressing, none of these are like overpowering each other. They're perfectly balanced. Ready for your first bite? Yep, here we go. Mmm, crunchy. That crust is really good. Crunchy, a little bit of the sweetness of the coleslaw. Mm -hmm. The pastrami is perfect. It is. Mmm, LA or New York, babe. Oh, that's not the comparison, babe. Is I this too, place or, but or, or um, the that Panthers, I know, but. But yeah, so this, far, is, this is awesome. It's better than New York so far. No, we're not making a comparison, okay. baby. <laughs> Never mind. Last bite. How sad. Mm. Good stuff. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> You're wow now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was... Honestly, that was, that was probably good. the best pastrami sandwich That's I've had. The best pastrami sandwich I've had. Really? It's, Both of us? Yeah, wow. it's the crust on that rye bread was amazing. It was. It, the bread was soft and the crust was just crunchy, mm -hmm. but it's not like hurt the roof of your mouth crunchy. Right, not at all. The pastrami was not over seasoned. Uh, I don't usually don't like Swiss, but the Swiss wasn't even strong. It matched perfectly in that sandwich with that coleslaw, baby. I could not find a flaw oh with God. this. <laughs> I mean, yes, it is eighteen ninety five. Is on the high side, but as you're eating it, you forget about how yeah, much it costs. Yeah, it's I, worth it. And we didn't record it, but I, I really licked the plate. It was so good. She did. <laughs> It was really, really good. All right. So it's off to our next one. Right, which is Cantor's, and they have some big shoes to fill. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what's going to happen. Yeah, they're classic as well. They're very. Both of these places are iconic here in LA. So That's let's right. go try it out. Okay. Stop number two. Yep. And our final stop final is stop. Cantor's Deli on Fairfax. Yeah, it's about maybe twenty to thirty minutes from Langer's, depending on the yeah, traffic. It's like seven to ten miles. Yeah. So, but it's yeah. off street. 
it's all street driving. Yep. So, so we're yeah, gonna we're try this place excited. out. Excited. Yeah, try this place out. Let's go, baby. Cantor's Deli. Cantor's Deli. Let's go. Here's Cantor's menu. And this is what we're going to get. The daily favorites. All oh, right. There, Brooklyn Ave. So just like Langer's, this place has an old 60s, 70s feel to it. You can go by the furniture and look at the, uh, the ceiling. Got that old classic look. So we got a soup to share. It's the matzo ball soup. Matzo ball soup. Nice, look at that. It looks really good, nice clear broth. Let's try out this broth, it's super, super hot. It is. So here we go. It's a big matzo ball. Well, good. Nice clear chicken broth. Not bad, It's huh? very good, very good. Very good. Matzo. matzo ball. This always burns me, so it's cooled us down a bit. Yeah. Matzo ball. Right. Cool down nice. a little bit. Yep. Mm. It's a good matzo ball flavor. Not on the plain side, but I think it'll match perfectly with our sandwich. Oh, good. There it is. I'm gonna light it up here because it's kind of orange light over here, but that's their pastrami. Look at that. That looks really juicy too, baby. Yeah. It's really moist. And they give us a side of potato salad. And look at all these pickles. Pizza. Here's a close-up picture of Cantor's pastrami. Look at that. Thinly sliced. Wow, this, this one looks really good too, baby. It does. It looks wow, really good, baby. It does. The bread is soft. Uh, the crust is not as crunchy, it doesn't appear to be crunchy as Langer's, but still, it does look like a well-balanced sandwich. So we gotta try it out. And here we go. And I have to say, this is a beautiful sandwich. It is. And it's amazing. It does. It does. Little specks of, look, that dark, that, nice peppery crust in there. Yep. That bread looks perfect. A little bit of that coleslaw. It's a beautiful looking sandwich. Just try this out. Wow, it's really good. Really? really good. So it's not like a clear cut and dry one, no. one winner, huh? No. The bread is not as crunchy as Langer's, but it's coleslaw. It's very good. The bread is nice and soft. The pastrami is not overpowering at all. It's really good. Oh yeah. Just dripping away. So good. As I'm holding this sandwich, it's literally just kind of dripping in the coleslaw and the juices. Here we go. Mm. Wow. It's hard, huh, baby? Right now. This could literally be the other half of language and I would have a hard time telling the difference. It might be the bread. The bread might be the deciding factor here, but as far as the coleslaw and the amount of, of pastrami in here, we're talking neck and neck, guys. That close. Going in for my last bite. That rounds off our hot pastrami yeah. throwdown. It was very good, very yes. good. Now, voting time. <sighs> you know what, I'm gonna have to go with Langer's, Langer's on this one. Yeah. Langer's, the, they give you more pastrami in this sandwich, and the they did. pastrami was just as good. Um, the bread was good, but I like the Langer's bread better. Yes, I think that was pretty much the deciding factor, yeah. is that fresh, baked, crunchy crust, Yes. super soft yes. bread. Either one you pick though, it's, they're both very good. But That's right. This and, one and this was a little bit cheaper, Langer's. right? This was this a little one's bit cheaper. sixteen fifty, and it comes with potato salad. That's right. Uh, yeah. the, the, also, the pickles here, I like uh, Langer's better. Yeah, yeah, because this one was kind of a 
kind of a more of a chewy pickle and, and Langer's is more of a crunchy yes. pickle. We like the pickles better at Langer's. Yeah. But that bread at Langer's, amazing. That was, it was. That was legit. That yeah. was it. So it, in our opinion, if you have to choose uh, one place to get a pastrami sandwich here in Los Angeles, hit up Langer's. Langer's. Number but 19. Have, but if you don't have to choose, come to both. They're yeah. both very good. That's it. So uh, thanks for watching our hot pastrami sandwich throwdown. Oh, and you know, one of the reasons why we stayed in LA because this is Thanksgiving week. Yes. And it's a little hard to travel. Yeah. That's why we're staying local. Flights are bad. That's so right. So we're staying away from the airport. And there's plenty of stuff here in yeah. Los Angeles there to is. check out. So again, thanks for watching again, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.